What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Gargleknack team that also features Loaded Dice Packs Caliber and Life Orb Mimic You. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. And I thank all of my subscribers for helping me grow as a content creator. But like I mentioned, we are using Gargleknack and I absolutely love this Pokemon. And I don't know why I woke up this morning. I was like, I want to use this Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Very bulky and good at, as like a back end uh stall pokemon because it has salt cure and salt cure continuously does damage at the end of every single turn and then you can pretty much just recover and protect to kind of get hp back unlimitedly which is amazing so if you could salt cure your opponents up against like pokemon that can't really do with damage to this guy you can pretty much just stall out the battle and win it but we get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner it's going to be loaded dice back caliber and i've been seeing this type of back caliber more and more on the rank ladder and it is super strong it has Thermal Exchange as its ability, and the moveset is going to consist of Glaive Rush, Icicle Spear, Ice Shard, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be that Gargleknack with Purifying Salt as its ability, and the Leftovers as its item so it can recover 1 16th of its HP at the end of every single turn. It's got Salt Cure as its stab move, Recover to recover even more HP, Wide Guard to protect allied Pokemon from double hitting moves, and Protect for its final move. Third Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. Golden Go has probably been one of the most used Pokemon in the meta at the moment, and there's a good reason why. It is super strong and its typing is amazing. It is good as gold as its ability, the choice specs as its item, and then the moveset consists of Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Power Gem, and Focus Blast. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Meowth Gravata. With Overgrow and the Focus Sash as item, Flower Trick, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Protect, nothing too special here. This Meowth Gravata is here and it means business because it's just here to kind of do some big time damage. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Mimikyu. Usually Mimikyu is used for Trick Room, but this one's all out on attack. It has Disguise, Life Orb as item, and then it's got Play Rough, Shadow Call, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Mimikyu is a really strong Pokemon. Give it a Life Orb, make it even stronger. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Water Breed Tauros. This is the only Tauros I've used so far, and I, I thought it was very, very strong and very, very underrated. It has Intimidate as its ability, the Safety Goggles as its item, then it's got Close Combat, Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, want to rent this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Mimikyu and Gargle Knack team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. Going up against a Haxorus team with Sylveon, Mealskirata, Corviknight, Aqua Breed, Tauros, and Skelly Dirge. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I kind of feel like Mimikyu could be a solid lead for us. Maybe bring Gargle Knack in the back end. Looking pretty good. I kind of like Mimikyu here. Uh, do we have any way of controlling speed? We really don't, because I feel like that Corviknight is going to be a lead here, and that could be a problem. So let me see your, your move set here. You got Power Jam, you got Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Focus Blast. Not too bad. Um, hmm. So I feel like the lead is possibly Corviknight, and then it's just, just like something else, right? I'm going to go with Mimikyu as a lead. I feel like Mimikyu could be solid. I don't know. If Corviknight is going to be lead, I don't I don't really like the Mims. I really do not like the Mimikyu in, at that instance. I could go Gargonackle as a lead. That's not too bad here either. I kind of like it as lead. Just start, start to sulk your Pokemon. But then if he brings in the Oscarada, that could be a problem. So maybe I should just bring in Bax Calibur with it as well. Could be solid. Could definitely be solid. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go in with both of those Pokemon. And then we are going to bring Mimikyu in the back end. And then I just like having Meowth here. I feel like it could be solid. So yeah, I'm going to go Meowth Gravata. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Or let's lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, I've been bringing you guys some solid meta teams. Hopefully, you guys have been using them to push rank ladder. But I'm super excited for Series 2. We're bringing in Paradox form Pokemon. We get to use the uh, past and future forms, which are going to be dope. So I get whole new teams and whole new Pokemon to showcase for you guys. If you guys have any uh, certain Pokemon that you want me to showcase first, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get you guys' response. But he's going to end up going Sylveon alongside with Corviknight. Okay, so from here, uh, what do I want to do? I kind of just want to sulk here one of these two. Probably the Sylveon, correct? It would make the most sense to just start getting off some damage on the Sylveon. I'm going to Salt Cure to Sylveon, and I could actually Wide Guard this shot, correct? Which I'm, I think I'm, I'm thinking about doing, right? I think that might be my best bet. Just Wide Guard this first shot, because we know it's going to be a Hyper Voice. And then Terrasalize and go into an Icicle Spear. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with doing that. I'm all about that. Yeah, I'm gonna wide guard here. 
I think wide guard is definitely the play. I really do. Because I feel like Sylveon probably throat spray, right? So it wants to pop it. So it's just going to go into like a hyper voice and try to pop it at that point. And if we could just waste that turn from Sylveon, that, that's that's fine by me. That Corp Knight might even set up a Tailwind. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. We'll see. We shall see. But we Terrasalize our Backscabber, which I really like. Wide guard is going to pop from our big old Minecraft rock guy. And we're hoping Hyper Voice is coming out here. Oh, we get that actually outspeed, which is huge. Chipping off some nice damage. Can load it dice give me five? Come on, load it dice. Come on, load it dice. Two more. Let's go. One more. Give me the five. Give me the five, load it dice. Four. Come on, you're better than that. You are better than that. Taunt's gonna come out here from the uh from the Corvo. That's fine. And show me a hyper voice here. Give me a hyper voice action. Terra Blast. Okay. So you terror blast and you get a crit. That kinda hurts soul, but it'd be like that. But from here, you know what? I'm just gonna sulk here. And I guess we'll just go into another another icicle spear. Give me no reason not to. So you can rip the terra a normal terror blast. Actually it changes the fairy. Which is pretty cool. Changes to fairy. Icicle spear is going to get blocked. And we're gonna set up a salt cure onto this core knight that I think is gonna tailwind. Yeah. So we tailwinds to get speed control. That's alright. Uh we could icicle spear. I'm thinking just protecting here. I'm not too sure if I should protect or not, but we're gonna set up a salt cure, which is lovely. He's being salt cured, which is amazing. I love this move. Look at it. Just at the end of every single turn. <laughs> doing some good damage. I love it. I love it. But from here, I guess we'll just salt cure again. We can get rid of Sylveon here, which I kind of want to do. I could protect, which I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect, try to set up a Salt Cure. And then maybe just Ice Shard and take out that Sylveon next turn. Possibilities here. Iron Head coming in here. We do not like that, but I do have some leftovers rolling. Hyper Voice finally comes out of here. And Gargoyle Axe should be able to soak up pretty well here. And I'm thinking of just recovering next turn, or maybe just protecting it next turn. But I definitely have to go into like an ice shard and try to finish off that Pokemon. Salt here coming out here. You can say bye bye to Sylveon, pretty much. So that should bring it down to like red, and then I could just ice shard it if need be. I'm actually glad it survived another turn because now I can just recover my Gargoyle at this point, right? Because I don't think another Iron Head can KO me. Wow, Salt Cure's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ridiculous amount of damage. Ridiculous amount of damage for no reason. But yeah, from here, I'm gonna recover. Oh, I can't recover. That honestly sucks. I can't even protect either. Do I save him? No, I feel like we just, we just get after this, right? We just try to take out Corvo, I guess. And we'll just Ice Shard you. Wow, that is wild. So we're wasting our Tailwind turns here. Ice Shard picks up the KO. I wish I could recover, man. Taunt doing me dirty. Taunt doing me dirty, but my guard went out getting some work done. He actually eats up that shot. So I still have Bax Caliber for another turn. I flinch. Get out of my face with that. So I still have Bax Caliber for another turn. Is my taunt gone? I would really hope so. I would really hope so. But look how much damage this Salt is doing. Oh my lord. <laughs> Just killing this thing. My taunt is finally gone. Um, I want to recover here. I really do. I might Ice Shard and go for recover. That could be a solid play. It really depends what Pokemon they bring out. It's going to be Skelly Dirge. And I feel like Skelly Dirge... Put Terrasalize here. I wonder what Skelly Dirge is going for. But I'm definitely going for Recover all day. All day I'm going for Recover. And I'm just going to look to Ice Shard and finish off the Corvo. And what's called Mighty Terrasalize? Skelly Dirge might Terrasalize into Grass Typing. We'll see. We shall see. And if it does, and it, it has either a choice to take out my Bax Caliber <clears throat> or my Garganak. And either way, I'm fine with it. Because to be honest, if it, if it doesn't take out my, my back caliber, I outspeed. I can either get off an Icicle Spear or a uh, or an Ice Shard. If it turns into Grass, it could be good. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do. And yeah, I think he's Thrasalizing. Into Grass? Show me Grass? I wouldn't mind Grass. It's got to be Grass, correct? Yeah. All Skelly Dirges are Grass-type Terra. <laughs> all of them. All of them are. I haven't seen one that's not. So he ends up doing that. Ice Shard's gonna fly. Pick up the KO. Now he has a choice. Now he has a choice on who he wants to KO. Terra Blast coming in here. Who are you KO? I'm probably my Gargle Knack, right? No, you're gonna go after my Bax Caliber. I do not mind that, because again, now I get off a free recover. I can just protect my Gargle Knack, because he has to go after it. I can also bring out my Ascarada. 
I'm with it. But I do have Focus Sash on Mascara. And Tailwind's gone, which is huge for us. The Ogargle Neck? Amazing, this match. Amazing. And Leftovers HP. We love it. We're almost we're almost back to full. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. So if Tailwind's gone, I have Speed. Uh, I feel like this is just a Miascarada play because I can Focus Sash. I can read, see who he's going into. And we can just get after the battle that way. So he's going to go Miascarada of his own. Okay. I feel you. I see you. Uh, how do I play this one? I definitely have to protect you, correct? Yeah. I definitely want to protect you. And... We're going for Skelly Dirge, because I feel like my Mimikyu can kind of just 1v1 this one, right? Yeah, I'm going to go after Skelly Dirge. Protect my Gargi. Hopefully my Miascarat outspeeds. It does not. His Miascarat outspeeds. Please do not double down into my Miascarat. That could get real ugly real quick. Knockoff's going to fly here. Get off some nice damage. Knock off its leftovers. We like that. And he's going to go for Torch Song, so he beats me hard. That might have just put him, gave him the upper hand. It's still a really good battle. Because now he can legit dump on me, right? I'm not sitting in a, in a fine spot. Not not even close to a fine spot. Alright. We still have Mims. I really like Mims because I do have Disguise on Mimikyu. And, I mean, I got free play, play rough coming out here. But I think this thing's going to be Sash, right? This sucks. This honestly sucks. Uh, we want to... Hmm, who do I want to take out here? kind of want to take out the Skelly Dirge. I really do want to take out the Skelly Dirge. I'm going to go after Skelly Dirge. Mask around my Protect too. It doesn't. It knocks off my Life Orb, which sucks. And it takes off my Disguise. Mimikyu should go next, right? Hopefully we can land this lovely little player off. We do. And we do some nice damage, but not enough to KO. Terror Blast coming out here. Probably not soaking up, right? I need him to soak it up, but I don't think he is. Can you soak it up, Gargle? No. Wow, he read my protect and gave him the upper hand. What a first match, though. What a really solid first match. Uh, is there any way we can win this one? I don't think so, right? I mean, I was guessing to Miascarada Sash. I'm just going to go after it. That's why I didn't go after it last turn. Because it was potentially Focus Sash, right? Most of them are. And we'll, we'll actually find out here if I land this. Put off coming out here. And yeah, it was Sash, so it didn't really matter. It did not really matter. But, you know, GG's to our opponent. He's just going to Shadow Ball us. That's going to take us out. And wow, yo, that Skelly Dirge definitely clutched it up for him. But what a solid first match. We got Gargle Knack out there. Showcased him really, really well. But our opponent made one great read at the end to give him the upper hand. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Florgus team. Pokemon that I want to showcase that I haven't gotten around to yet. But such a cool Pokemon. It is a straight fairy type, I believe. I believe it's straight fairy type. Might have a secondary type, but I I'm almost positive it's a straight fairy type. But the team that we're versing also consists of Murkrow, Miascarada, Ferrigraph, who is one of the best Trick Room setters in the game, then Golden Go, and Gudra. How should I play this one? How should Jeans play this one? I kind of like the Aqua Breed Tauros here, just because I can close combat straight onto that. Uh... Actually, mm, close combat is not super effective. Is it? It's probably half and half. It's probably neutral because it's psychic and normal. But how should I go into here? I mean, he could pop a Trick Room with a uh, Free Graph. That could be a problem. But we also have Gargle Knack to kind of deal with that. We do also have the Gargle Knack. Golden Go's 149. I kind of want to lead Golden Go. Maybe just pop some Make It Rains. Have some fun with this one. Maybe. Possibly. Let me see Mimikyu's speed. What's your speed, Mims? 148. So that Golden Go outspeeds you. That kind of hurts. But we do have this guy. So I like that. I'm going to lead you. I am going to also lead. I'm feeling a little bit of Miascarada action here. I do like this Pokemon. And then I'm going to bring the Gargle Neck. And then last but not least, either Baxcalibur or Golden Go. Hmm. I lean a bit more towards Golden Go. As a back end Pokemon with the choice specs, I feel like we can get a lot of value off of it. Especially, again, if it comes in the back end. We get the choose her move. It's going to be boosted. We get off some big damage. So I'm all about that Pokemon. I'm all about it. But yo, that last battle, this close. I really thought we had it. I felt like we were playing good. And then our opponent just made a good read. We probably shouldn't have protected our Gargle Neck. And we probably should have went for a knockoff on the Miascarada just to get rid of that Sash. But it'd be like that. It's going to end up going into Florgus and this lovely little Miascarada. But how should I play this one? I want to make sure Florgus' type is going to be Straight Fairy, which I believe it is. Yeah. It is Straight Fairy, and it's such a cool Pokemon. So from here, you know, I'm just going to play rough this slot. And... Hmm. Probably just flower trick this, right? I have focus ash. We might as well use it here. We might as well use it. 
But our opponent might actually just uh, terrestrialize. I'm thinking they terrestrialize the uh, Miascarada. No, straight up protect on the Miascarada, which isn't bad. I don't mind that. I mean, I have Shadow Sneak and Eevee. And Draining Kiss is going to fire. Wow. And that thing outspeeds me. That is actually. Actually, Draining Kiss might be first turn priority. But Flower Trick's going to come out here. Wow. Wow. Flower Trick on Florgus? See you later. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. And I'm surprised he did not take off my disguise. Wow, oh, that floor gets is quick. Wait, I don't know if Draining Kiss is first time priority. I don't think it is. I think you need like an ability. Let me look up floor gets. I want to know more about this book. So it abilities that it learns is Flower Veil and Symbiosis. That Pokemon really just that fast? Really just that fast? I'm trying to find its moves right now. I don't really know. I'll, I'll learn it. Oh, here's Draining Kiss, but I got 30 seconds to pick. Rainy kiss. Well, we'll check it out in a second. But who do you bring out? I can't. Can you show me who he brought out so I can make a play? Actually, I can just do this. Oh, I can just play rough in the Gudra, which I'm not going to, to do because I feel like Gudra has to terrestrialize here. So I'm just gonna double down into this slot, and I'm, you know what? I'm gonna sucker punch you. Just take off Focus Ash. Yeah, he's gonna terrestrialize the Gudra. That's exactly why I did not go into the play rough. And I'm gonna go after Miascarano because I can deal with this later, right? A ground typing. Yeah, I can deal with that later. I'll deal with that later. It's no problem. It's no problem. The trash of that lies is in the ground. I'll deal with that later. Sucker Punch can come out here. Take off Focus Ash. And we're going to hope that Play Rough. Oh, Petal Blizzard. Wow. A little bit of. Oh, that's the combo. That's the combo. That's the cool combo. Miascarada eats, which is huge. If I can get off another turn with Miascarada. And if I can outspeed, I can just straight up Flower Trick. Might be big. Play rough lands. See you later. So if he does not take out my Miascarada, you are in trouble. You are in some trouble. Let's see what he goes for. EQ? Are you EQing? No way you're EQing. You are EQing. That's wild. EQ coming out here. Mimikyu, you should be good. You are not good. Never mind. I lied. But I have some pretty fast Pokemon with Golden Go in the back end, and then I have Goggle now. Okay. I guess I could deal with this. I guess I can get after it. I still have my uh, terror type, which I think I have to use on my what's called right now. My golden go. Oh, you're gonna go golden go too. Cool, awesome, dope. How should I play this one? I might go straight steel type. I feel like I have to go straight steel type, and I feel like I have to, you know, do a little bit of a uh, salt curing on the you. So I'm gonna salt cure that. I am going to shadow ball you. Actually, I do want to change to straight steel. This is tough. Do I wide guard the do I wide guard the shot? I might have to. It's gotta be EQ, correct? It's gotta be EQ. With my Pokemon on my field, I'm gonna have to wide guard the shot instead of Stalker. I'm gonna wide guard it. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball and try to drop out this golden go. That's my play. So I'm wide guarding here. It, Cause he has to EQ, correct? And why didn't I terrasize? I should have terrasized. He's gonna make it rain. Oh yo, no way we just got this. Did we just double the wide guard? That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. I'm choosing a Shadow Ball now, which isn't isn't bad. Did we just make the perfect wide guard play? With make it rain and EQ? This should KO, correct? Oh, let's go, Golden Go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. We get rid of that. Are you you gotta be EQing, right? Aqua Tail. Oh heck no. You eat though. I like that eat. I like that eat, but I like that wide guard a little bit better. So I could protect you again, but you should be able to eat up another one. You should be able to eat up another one. So I might just sulk here you down. Put that on you and just Shadow Ball out. I mean, I definitely want to... Do I want to Terra here? Do I want to Terra in the straight steel? Would that do anything for us? I don't think that would do anything for us, correct? Terra in the straight steel? I think that would only create weaknesses for us. So yeah, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to stay my type and I'm just going to go into Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball coming out here. Can we do at least half? I don't think we can. Can we get the drop? EQ comes out here. Oh, no. I need I need both you guys to actually eat this up. You die. Do you die? Oh, my God. Golden Go. We're going to lose this match. Should have wide guarded again. I can't believe that thing went for that. That's wild. I just have to go into a Shadow Ball. Can we get a crit? No way we lose this match. We're playing so good right now. We're playing so good right now. Bruh, GG's. 
GG's. Wow. 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 I can't believe we lost these past two battles. I'm playing so good right now. It's annoying me. It's annoying me that we're losing these battles, but hey, it'd be like that sometimes. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves at least one win for today's video. Final battle coming at you guys, and I'm looking for redemption. Because like I said, I'm playing super solid for today's video, and I'm just losing matches at the end. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe you guys are seeing what I'm doing wrong. Let me know in the comment section down below. Give your guy a little bit of support. But we're going up against a Floatzel and Pelipper team with Miascarada, Golden Go, Dragonite, and Arcanine. I feel like Gargonac has been playing amazing. We've been making some good calls with them. Wide Guards have been good. Salt Cures have been good. But how are we going to win this battle? Because we, we have to win this. We don't go 0-3 in a video. Ever. Never, ever, ever. So, hmm. Who's my lead? I mean, he has weather, and weather is kind of scary. Making me not want to bring the Gargs. So I'm probably not going to do that. I feel like Miascarada could be solid. Decent little lead for us. So I am going to go Miascarada. So I'm going to lead Miascarada. I am going to also bring in... Did I back Caliber to lead? I could back Caliber to lead. I could go Golden Go. I feel like Golden Go and Mimikyu. Both of these... Ghost type Pokemon could be solid for us. But lead the gold. Could lead the gold. The problem would be like Sucker Punch me. But then I would just trash line. So you know what? We are going to go gold to go. We're going to bring Mimikyu in the back end. And then last but not least, either Baxcalibur or Tauros. Who do I like here a little bit more? I mean, if you're going to set rain, I'm going to like the Tauros with the Aqua Jet. If you're going to set the rain, Tauros with Aqua Jet can do some damage. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But yeah, we, we need this win here. I'm going to be very upset if we lose spell. But we're not losing it. There's uh, there's no question that we're winning this battle. Hate to break to you guys. Your boy never goes 0-3 in the video. Never, ever. And this shouldn't even... We shouldn't even be in this position. Because, I, again, I feel like I've been playing good. Just losing battles. Intimidate's going to come out here. Golden Ghost is going to be good as gold. Actually, Intimidate goes through good as gold. I thought it protects it from status conditions. But I could throw a nice, lovely knockoff. Go for Sucker Punch you as well. Uh, I'm going to Sucker Punch you. Actually, I outspeed you. Let's just go for a knockoff. I'm going to knock off, and I'm going to tear at you. And I'm going to rip into a power zone. Because I'm not playing around. We're going right after you, Arcanine. I'm not playing around. So he's going to tear I'm going to tear What typing are you tearing into? Golden Ghost is going to tear Probably straight seal like me. Normal. Normal. So we go double nor or he goes normal. I go into my steel. Steel's still scary because we know Flare Blitz can still rip into me. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I could just power gem and rip into this Arcanine. So I'm straight steel. Came to play. I'm choosing to a, a power gem, so I might want to swap this thing later. E speed's gonna come out here. We're able to eat up. Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. And that goes into my golden go, which you should be able to eat. Nice, lovely. Dope. And you get a special defense drop. Just what I need it. Knockoff coming in here. Doing some nice solid damage. Get it. Get rid of his choice scarf too. Now we should be able to outspeed it. Power gem coming in hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We like that. We don't like that though. So I'm kind of scared that this Arcanine could be fashion to me. Definitely I'm scared of it. I'm just going to flower trick you. And I might just end up swapping. If I swap into Tauros, I can get off an Intimidate there. He goes into a Fire Shot, and I can save my Gold to go. I like that. I like that. We're going to do this. We're doing this. We're going with the swap. We're looking to play good. Like I said, we're winning this battle. I'm not losing it. I refuse. I, I refuse to lose this battle. <laughs> I bring out the Tauros. I get off a lovely little Intimidate. Most likely, this Arcanine is physical attacking. And the flower trick's gonna fly. Good thing we took off that choice scarf. We're gonna get rid of this thing, no problem. See you later. Tss. Hate this game. Gleam's gonna fly here. And of course, of course, Gleam's flying. Of course, of course, this thing's ripping with Gleam. Come on now. And Flare Blitz is flying. You should be able to soak that up. Cool. So now I can Aqua Jet. I have Aqua Jet ready to go. So I can Aqua Jet the uh, Golden Go down. I can bring back out my Golden Go. But I wanna bring out Mimi. Mimi's gotta be the player. Swap into my Mims. Um, hmm. Golden Go really survived. That hurts my soul. I feel like we just had to, like, Shadow Call this thing, correct? Yeah. Go for Shadow Call KO. We want to Aqua to finish off the Golden Go. East Speed comes out first. We eat that all day. I'm all about that. Aqua Jet's gonna fly. See you later. 
And hmm, hmm, I don't know how to feel about this match. I really don't know how to feel about this one. <laughs> I do still have Make It Rain. I mean, I'm choice. I'm back into my choice mood. Shadow Claw is gonna fly here. Let me KO. We do KO. Thank you, Mims. Mims with a big time KO with the crit, and now they have two Pokemon left. So I, I can Aqua Jump for some damage. I wonder what his last two are. He used Terra too, which is good. It's gonna be Miascarada and who else? I got Aqua Jet just to get off that Sash and Dragonite. That we don't like. That we don't like. That we definitely don't like. So obviously he can't Terra. I might just go. Who would I go after here? Who would I rather go after? Is the real question. Who would I rather KO? I can KO one. I can KO one. I feel like I'm gonna KO me ask about it, correct? This is tough. Well, you know, I'm gonna go after me ask about it. I'm gonna take off Focus Ash. And I'll go after me ask about it. I'm gonna take off Focus Ash with Aqua Jet. You can go for a knockoff. I'm gonna switch into a dark type and. That's going to take off my disguise and take off my item. So Mimikyu, can you outspeed Dragonite, please? Please and thank you. You do. I love you. So cool. We get rid of Miascarada. I have Golden Go in the back end. I can choice into whatever move I want. Game to play. So now what's what's Dragonite going for? It's Dragon Ball. That's fine. I can Shadow Sneak, take off Multiscale if it has it, and then go into whatever move I want. And I know Mimikyu outspeeds, which is huge. And I think Golden Go is faster than Mimikyu, so... That could be good. Yeah, 148, 149. Okay, yeah, so we both outspeed this Dragonite. We both outspeed this Dragonite. I like where we're saying. Like I said, I'm not, I, I just refuse to lose this battle. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. But yeah, if this thing is multi scale, I definitely want to Shadow Sneak to take that off. And then I could just simply go into a Make It Rain, which would do the most damage, right? What would Power Gem do more? This would be times two, but this would be times two. This would also be times two, but it's not very effective. It's on the other side. But yeah, Make It Rain's gonna do the most damage. So I'm gonna pop a Make It Rain. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak to get off the multi scale, and our opponent just cancels the battle. Like I said, I refuse to lose this battle. We go one and two for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Went one and two. Definitely feel like we should have went two and one, or even three and zero. Oh. The way we were playing we were playing pretty good getting all, out all these pokemon doing some work with them and gargonac definitely did really good in the first two battles i'm glad i got to showcase that but in third and final battle i got my boy mimikyu tauros out there and golden go to do absolute work and pick us up our one and only win but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody